Hi. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. Stop. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area at 5 o'clock p.m. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here on this Educational Tuesday. Educational Tuesday. So, yes, I have a book that I'll be reading to you. And you know it's gonna, it's gonna be a fun and exciting book. Yes, it's called, What Happens to Your Food? What Happens to Your Food? It's one of those us born flip flaps book, books. What Happens to Your Food? Yes. Scott told you I'm gonna have a fun and exciting, also educational book that I'll be reading to you. Now, let's see. You know, I'm going to shout out to everybody at the end of this video, everybody that joins in. But first, I'm going to ask that you guys please hit like and please hit share. And please go on over to YouTube and hit smash, smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. Yes, now let's get to reading. <laughs> I was born flip flaps. What happens to your food? Watch how your food slips and slides through your body with this amazing book. Lift the flaps to find out what happens inside when you eat. Yes. This book was written by Alastair Smith and it was illustrated by Maria Wheatley. Illustrated by Maria Wheatley. All right, all right. Okay, so let's get let's get into this book. It also says it's designed by Maria Wheatley and Ruth Russell, digital artwork by John Russell, and series editor was Judy uh, Tatchell. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I like this picture of that eating apple. I don't know why, I just like it. What is food for? What is food for? Without food, your body would stop working. Like a car that runs out of fuel, gas. Food gives you energy to move around. Food makes you grow bigger and bigger. Food helps you stay strong and healthy. Strong and healthy. Feeling hungry? When you are hungry, your stomach feels empty. It might make rumbling noises. If you don't eat, the feeling of hunger grows and grows and grows. He needs food. You might start to feel floppy and unhappy. I know I'm unhappy when I'm hungry. Your food's journey. Your food's journey. After you swallow your food, it goes down a long wiggly tube inside you. The food slides down the wiggly tube, the wiggly food tube, and it is broken up into tiny pieces. Your body uses the tiny pieces to keep you going. Now this part here, take, just take, it says, just take a look inside. The food tube starts at your mouth. The food tube ends at the hole in your bottom when you use the bathroom. So let's see. The food tube goes down and it goes all around like that. Large intestines, small intestines. It says your food tube looks like a little, like a little pile of uncooked sausages. It is all curled up inside you. If your food tube were pulled out straight, it would be about four times as long as you. This is what your food tube would look like pulled out straight. Wow. This is your stomach. It is part of your food tube. This part of your food tube is all curled up. The hole in your bottom is called your anus. Let's see what it says. What should you eat? Hmm. You need to eat different kinds of food. This, this keeps your body pretty healthy. Some foods are good for helping you grow. 
They also help to mend cuts and bruises. Here are some of them. Fish, eggs, lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, strawberries, oranges, apples. It says your body needs vitamins and minerals. These keep it working well. Fruit and vegetables have lots of these. They're talking about potatoes, bread, rice, beans, pasta, energy. Some kinds of foods are very good for giving you energy, like I just said, energy. You can see some of these above. Yeah, that's kind of like the pancake mix I have here for you. What shouldn't you eat? You shouldn't eat things that have gone bad. Food goes bad when it gets old. Also, beware of germs in the food. What are germs? Well, germs are tiny creatures. Tiny creatures. They are too small for you to see with your naked eye. Some germs can make you ill if you eat them. Yes. How can you get rid of germs? Be a germ killer. It says we love to live in meat and fish. Please don't lift the flap because it doesn't want you to know how to kill the germs. Look at this. Look at that fish with all these germs on it. Many germs really hot is a good way to kill them. That means cook your food well. Cook it because the heat, the temperature in the pan, heats up the food to a temperature that these germs can't stand and it kills them. That's why you should cook meat and fish. You don't have to cook fruit and vegetables to get rid of the germs. Just wash them well before you eat them. Nice. Nice. Is it yummy? How do you decide what you want to eat? Wow, sometimes I don't even know. I'm like, I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. Hmm. Let's see. How do you decide what you want to eat? Look at it. You decide whether you like it or not. You decide whether you like the look of it. I mean, that looks yummy, huh? I like this thing right here. Looks yummy. It says, smell it. Mmm, some, some food smells so good. You decide whether you like the way it smells. Remember it. You remember what you thought of it the last time you tasted it. And then you taste it. You decide whether you like the way it tastes. Hmm. Making food yummy. You can mix things together and cook them to make great new tastes. Even making food look nice can help you enjoy it. Oh, that's so true. I, I, I better not do that because I'll just eat it all. <laughs> Sauces or drink, dressings can make things taste more interesting. Hmm. Taste test. How do you taste different things? How do you taste different things? It says different parts of your tongue taste different things. It says the sweet things taste sweetest on the tip of your tongue. That's where it tastes. You taste the sweet things. Your tongue can taste sweet things, salty things, sour things, and bitter things. So if you can see this tongue, it has a layout of which part of the tongue tastes what. It says, this is the sweet part, tastes the sweet things. This is the salty on the sides. Let me show you. The sides are the salty parts. The sour things are right here and the bitter is on the back. Interesting, huh? Wow. Did you guys even know that? What happens in your mouth? Your mouth is a food masher. <laughs> Mashes up all your food. It changes the things you eat into a slippery paste. This paste is easy to swallow. Your teeth chop your food up into little pieces. When you chew, that's what it's doing. That's what's happening. Your tongue pushes the food around inside your mouth. Spit, your saliva, makes food soft and slippery. It slides down your throat easily, right? About your teeth. You have different types of teeth and your teeth do different jobs. Yes, they do different jobs. We have the sharp cutters to bite into stuff, bite into your food. The sharp cutters uh, teeth cut food up. The bumpy teeth grind and chew. 
The pointed teeth tear food into shreds. Look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? How many teeth? Newborn babies have no teeth at all. You grow your first teeth when you are a few months old. You grow 20 baby teeth. Your baby teeth start to fall out when you're about six. You grow 32 bigger teeth instead. These should last all your life. Taking a bite, first you open wide, and then you bite it. Oh, let's see what this says. Swallowing, your tongue rolls chewed food into a ball. It pushes the ball to the back of your mouth. You swallow and the food goes down your food tube. Why do you choke sometimes, you guys? Air goes down your windpipe when you breathe. Sometimes food goes down the wrong way into your windpipe. You choke and it makes you cough to get the food out. Interesting, right? You guys didn't know that? All right. So we have your teeth here. You have the saliva is made here in the saliva glands. The, it says spit, but I say saliva. It says the balls of food going down, going down. Crunch, chew, and chop, and then your windpipe. Windpipe. Can you guys see all that? Yeah. Into your stomach. Your food's next stop on its way down the food tube is in your stomach. Mm. This is like a squashy bag. Where is your stomach? Mm. Your stomach is about level with your elbows when you hold your standing straight and you hold your arms down. Your stomach is about the same level as your elbows. What does your stomach do? Hmm. Your stomach squeezes and mashes the, the food up that didn't get all mashed up when you chewed. It pours special stomach juices, acid, on the food. These help to mush it up and it ends up like slushy soup, slushy soup inside your stomach. Food squirts out of your stomach here. How big is your stomach? Oh, let me read this part. It says food plops into your stomach here at the top. It says stomach juices, it kind of squirts inside. Mash it up, helps to mash it up. This is your stomach, and then it squirts out here. Hmm, interesting. So now it says, how big is your stomach? Well, your stomach is, is, is empty. When it's empty, it is about as big as this picture of a balloon. Interesting. They say it's about the size of a fist. Your fist. Your stomach is about the size of your fist, and that's about right. It's about right. A grown-up's empty stomach is about twice as big as this picture of a balloon. Yes, because we eat so much and we probably stretch it out, right? Eat so much. Eat too much. Um, eating, too, eating too much. <laughs> Sometimes you eat and drink too much. Your stomach might decide that it's had enough. I know what my stomach was like. Ah, you done. Stop. What happens next? Wow, let's see. Well... Your stomach says no more. Your stomach squeezes hard. It sends the food back up your food tube. This makes you sick. This is also called vomiting or throwing up. A horrible taste. Food that comes back up tastes horrible because it has lots of stomach juices or acid in it. Stomach juices taste sour. Ooh, I remember, Ooh, it really is sour. Eating bad food. Eating food that has gone bad can make you sick. It's your stomach's job to get rid of bad food before it harms you. Wow. Interesting. Where food goes next. Where does your food go next? The slushy food gets out of your stomach through a small hole. It squirts through the hole little by little. Now it goes into a long curled up part of the food tube. This is your small intestines. And moving along, 
It says the food tube squeezes food along all the way from your mouth to your anus. Sort of like squeezing toothpaste out of a out of the out of the toothpaste thingy. It works like I must I could have written this book, right? It works like toothpaste being squeezed up a tube. <laughs> What's that noise? After a meal, you may hear gurgling noises coming from inside you. What's going on in there, huh? It says, don't worry. Look at that. Look at this. Tube going down to your stomach, to the small intestines. It says, don't worry. It's only your food being mashed and squeezed in your food tube. Gurgle, bash, mash. <laughs> so this side, it says, in the small intestines, here special juices called digestive juices squirt onto the food. These dissolve the food pieces into even tinier pieces. Digestive juices. Digestive juices turn the food into smaller pieces. Then it says your stomach up here. The hole opens and closes to let food through. Here it here it's closed. Where do the food pieces go next? Let's get out of here. Let's see where it goes next. Hmm. Hmm. You see that? It says, this is your stomach. Hole opens, food squirts out. It goes all the way around. Small intestines. Digestive juices turn the food into smaller pieces. Tiny food pieces are sucked out through the sides of the tube. They travel around your body and your blood to where they're needed. Look at that. The body is amazing. Amazing. There is still some leftover food in the small intestines. It is watery and sloppy by now. So this sloppy stuff is on its way to the next part of the food tube. Look at that. The next part of the food tube. Let's find out what it is. Journey's end. At the end of your small intestines, Food is squeezed into the next part of the food tube. This is called the large intestine. It's very large here. The large intestine is wider and shorter than the small intestine. The large intestine ends at your anus. Can you see that? Look at that. Ends at your anus. What happens here now? Hmm. The large intestine works like a sieve. It sucks water out of the sloppy food through its sides. The food left behind gets more solid and sludgy as water drains out. What's in the sludgy stuff? The sludgy stuff is mostly food your body cannot use. Waste. There's still a little water left in the sludgy stuff. This helps it to slip and slide along and get sucked out and stuff. This food isn't sloppy anymore. It is soft and sludgy. What happens then? Let's go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom now. See what happens next. Oh, oh. It says you let the sludgy stuff out of your body about once a day. I go twice a day. TMI, I, I know. You let the sludgy stuff out of your body at least once a day on the toilet. A slow journey. Look at that. It says the food you eat can take up to three days to slide all the way through your food tube. It's a long, slow journey. This is the end of the journey. This is the end of the journey. Wow. And it's the end. Wow. I was having so much fun reading this. The end. So we talked about anus, bad food, blood, bottom, choking, Digest digestive juices, eating too much, food tubes, germs, hunger, large intestines, small intestines, mouth, sick, being, spit or saliva, stomach, stomach juices, swallowing, tasting teeth, tasting teeth, throwing up, vomiting, toilet, going to the toilet, tongue, water and windpipe. We talked about all those things. Wow. What happens to your food? Wasn't that interesting? I think so. I learned a few things and I hope you did too on this Educational Tuesday. All right, all right, all right, you guys. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here and listening. Listen to me read about this food. This food here. You see my little burger? Let me show you my burger. It's got everything: tomato, lettuce, cheese. <laughs> tomato, lettuce, cheese. Look at that on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> on a sesame seed bun. Got my little uh, ice cream here. Looks good, doesn't it? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for listening to me read these fun and exciting books, especially today's book was so interesting and educational. I bet you guys learned something. What happens to your food when you eat? All right, all right, all right. All right. Now, <laughs> I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow. Don't forget to go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash it real hard. Punch that notification tab so you can receive notifications every time I upload a video to my channel. Now, live at 5 tomorrow. Don't forget, live at 5 tomorrow. I'll see you then. Let me do my shout outs. My shout outs to everybody on here. Sheena G. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sheena G. You guys, don't forget to check out her page, the Chocolate Chocolate Milk, Chocolate Milk Kids. That's it, Chocolate Milk Kids, spelled K-I-D-Z. Chocolate Milk Kids. Check out Sheena's page, and please don't forget to like that, like her page. My mom, hey, Bev, Beverly. Beverly, I don't get to call her Beverly in person, so I, I'm taking full advantage right now. Hey, mom, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, born, born, thank you for being here, born. Uh, Mr. Born Weir, my friend. Robert Martin, shout out. Shout out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Shout out. Thank you for your support. Um, Patrice, Patrice, thank you. Thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow live at five tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. See you soon.